2011 was a great year for snowmobiling. Uh, had a lot of shows all over Ontario for the Antique Club of Canada, and so it was quite successful. We just had our own show here this past February. We had almost 300 antique sleds out for a, ride, a vintage ride on about 600 private acres. Oh, we're having a vintage sled show and display here today for uh, St. Ange. They came to me back a couple months ago and asked me if I wanted to have a show up here for them. And I said, sure. So we got probably 20 sleds out here today just displaying their different models, brands, and stuff like that. The oldest one here is 1969 today is the oldest one today. Just, just an example of the difference between the two years, 75 and 76. They went from a free air motor where the heat transferred up the fins to cool off. They has found over time that they couldn't expel the heat quick enough and these machines would overheat. They went to a liquid cool motor the next year to get more performance and more uh, high performance out of the motor comparatively to the two. These were lighter, but these were more, could stand the change of temperature and the heat and the cold. The reason for the hook and the handlebars when you're leaning around the corner, you can still hold on to your brake and you can have a good grip for going around the corners. That was a purpose for it in oval racing. This is what the 1969 Skidoo TNT 399. This was the kind of their forerunner to their racers. This is the start the racing of Skidoo. 68, 67 were the first years, but in 69 they really started getting into racing. So they came out with a performance motor, and it was in what they call the teen, the black dot hood. This was a big thing. If you bought a TNT black dot, you had something. So it was really cool. They got into them, got into racing, but also they had a pop-up headlight. That was quite an invention for back then. Skidoo is what we know the snowmobile is today with the track underneath, the motor up on top of the tunnel, chain case and all that. They were, as per se, the forerunner or the grandfather of snowmobile, Bombardier. So they were just a great machine back in the day, 1960, 1959. Actually, Skidoo was also known as Ski Dog when it first came out. It was imitation what Bombardier thought was the advent of the, of the, of the dog sled. And so that's where it came from, ski -Doo. But when they started doing design and they put the decals on at a distance, if the G was bottom, it looked like ski -Doo and skid a ski dog. Bombardier thought it was really cool when he seen that and said, hey, let's go with that. So Skidoo became Skidoo in 1959. These are really good examples. Steve St. Ange here at St. Ange Recreation has brought these out. And these are a wonderful uh, restoration of what Skidoo was. They, Bombardier was a Canadian inventor of these machines and just did a wonderful job with them and they're a great representation of what Skidoo started out to be.